Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about uh, medical lactic acidosis versus nutritional lactic acidosis. And if you go on, online and start searching around and reading articles about lactic acidosis, they all say the same thing. It's a very dangerous uh, situation to be in. It comes on suddenly. They draw blood from the arteries. They go deep into your arm to draw blood from your arteries as opposed to drawing blood from your veins. So, um, now lactic acidosis in the hospital is uh, very dangerous and they're looking for the cause of it, which might be kidney failure, al alcohol poisoning, cyanide poisoning, um, maybe if you're diabetic and your insulin is uncontrolled, you can go into diabetic ketoacidosis. So these are things that they're looking for and then they treat the alcohol poisoning, the cyanide poisoning, the ketoacidosis, etc. But they never treat lactic acidosis itself. And um, lactic acidosis is where there's too much waste in your blood and not enough oxygen. That waste acts like an acid. And um, there's an article that I saw where people were on their deathbed and they gave them baking soda. And those people lived three to five days longer than the control group. The baking soda was controlling their lactic acidosis for the, a short period of time. Now in the article, they pondered whether or not they should be treating lactic acidosis itself. And they decided that they will determine that later. It's up for review and up for more study. So medicine never treats this scenario. They, they don't ever look, they don't ever uh, treat it itself. And so in the nutritional world, it's a different uh, viewpoint. It's less severe. It's like a lower gradient, if you will. So um, you can have a situation. Let me give you an analogy. Let's say your fingers are sore and you, you crack your knuckles and they're popping. Um, and you feel better. That's a lesser gradient than a fractured hand from getting it smashed into a door. Okay, let me give you another example. You can have a cold for five days and you're clearing your throat and you're blowing your nose and then, and then everything's fine. You never took a drug and the cold goes away. Well, the severe form of that would be Ebola virus where it may kill you and you have a, it's a horrible disease. They're both caused by a virus. One is less severe, one is very severe. So these are two analogies to give you this idea between medical lactic acidosis and nutritional deficiency lactic acidosis. This is not very severe in the nutritional world, but it gets gradiently worse and worse and worse until you have a horrible disease and now you're, now you're going to die. So now it's, it's a, in the articles that you find on Google about lactic acidosis, they talk, to, they talk about the blood pH, the arterial blood pH need to be in a very narrow range between 7.35 and 7.45. So let's say that your blood pH is normally 7.4. It can go down, meaning become too acidic, and let's say it ends up at 7.38. It's still in the normal range, but now you're getting some symptoms, and um, it needs to be addressed. And the way you address it is in other videos. So please watch my other videos about lactic acidosis so that you can see what it really is in full and how to take care of it. So the bottom line about medical versus nutritional lactic acidosis, it's the same mechanism. The question is, is it happening just in some areas of your body or is it happening throughout your whole body and you're really, really sick? So um, if it's nutritional lactic acidosis, and then you can address it nutritionally. But if it's medical, you got to go to the hospital. Just like you have like a broken hand, you're going to the hospital and let them do what they need to do to save your life. Then you come back out of the hospital. Now what? Now you got to work on improving your health. Medicine never works on improving your health. They, they're there to save your life and they're really good at it and we're, there, we're very thankful for that. But, you, but between medical visits, you have to work on improving your health. So please watch my other videos on lactic acidosis in my, on my YouTube channel so you can get more educated on the subject.